What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the B&E Project, where we're here to help you break and enter into the creative world by discussing the latest tech and topics of 2019. Yeah, we've been we've been looking at uh, little things that we're gonna do this summer and uh, travel wise and stuff like that and. Actually, you got a wedding coming up. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking at congratulations. Thank you, thank you. This is this is the person that shot our engagement photos. Boom. Yes. Go get yours from him. Yeah. <laughs> um, different travel locations and what we're gonna do next. So, Where, where's the where's the big day gonna happen? Uh, big days in Canada. Mm-hmm. So that's that's exciting coming up. Any 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 favorite spot? Y'all picked a spot yet, or? Uh, yeah. So our parents have a uh, a cabin by a lake. So we're planning on um tying tying it there. Nice. Lock down. Nice, nice. So, are you are you, you going to take some of your equipment with you? Try to get some like shots in before yeah. after. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think have so. you have you traveled with your equipment at all yet? Yeah, I have and. You know that's a, that's a you know that's a, that's an interesting subject. I think we should talk about that today. I think that that's a good for somebody who's not if you've never traveled with your equipment, it can be um, yeah, it can be quite nerve wracking if you don't know what you're doing or yeah. problems. So yeah, that's a good that's a good topic. Let's do that one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're we're looking at uh traveling. We've traveled together before with my equipment. Uh. I think it's a interesting experience, especially early on when you start off traveling with your equipment because mm-hmm. you bring everything. Um, so I've had to kind of hone in how I travel and things like that. And I think your experience is a little bit different because uh, your wife does uh, photography as well mm-hmm. and kind of likes the creative content that you can capturing things and and you know my fiance and you know soon to be wife you're watching this i know you love stuff too and you give me my time <laughs> <laughs> not trying to get hurt today <laughs> but uh yeah you know it's a I, I think it's a little bit different too per person like who you're with yeah traveling. you know when whenever you're traveling with your equipment a lot of people we get caught up in what we're buying to get the job done yeah uh, for those of us who who love to travel and love to get those travel shots, it um, it it's something you don't think about, you know, even right down to packing up in an Uber to get to the airport. Yeah. Say you're flying somewhere. I mean, like, does all your equipment fit in the Uber with your clothes? Mm-hmm. Like, or is that guy going to show up and you've got you know thirty minutes left to get to the airport and now you've got to pick. You know, do I take my clothes bag or my or my uh, camera bag? Because yeah. you know, we've had we've run into that before. We're like, just forget it, leave, put the stuff back in the house. Like, got to take our clothes with us. Let's go. Yeah. Um. So, you know, thing things that that you can think about whenever you're you're buying equipment is how well is it going to pack up? How well is it going to travel? And you know, you don't want to buy a, a five foot tall tripod that's not going to collapse down you want to find something that you know can collapse down into two feet nowadays mm-hmm. and that can slide in the the side of your carry-on backpacks yeah you just bought a new backpack right what do you yeah, think i did uh i went through um several bags uh one was a little smaller then i i was like you know what i'm gonna get this uh, heavy duty bag for this amount of lenses so I can take all my gear here. Um, so I, I figured out I don't like that bag. Although, um, I do like the, the um, new, the new one you just bought. You know, no, no, no. The new, new one I like oh, the okay. one that's, you know, it's not even a year. Oh, oh the, okay. I know yeah. What yeah. It's not even a year old. But that one holds like one camera body or however many camera bodies you want it could probably hold a drone could hold four or five lenses like i i like it if if i was at like one location and 
uh, didn't have a move like uh, similar to the time where we had uh, things going on in that office that mm -hmm. we did videos and stuff for. Mm -hmm. um, I like it for that because I can take a lot of gear with me. But in terms of being mobile, no. So a new bag I uh, just purchased actually isn't a quote unquote camera bag. It's kind of an everyday bag. But it gives me access to my uh, laptop. My camera bag does too, but not in the same way. And then um, what I'm going to do is find a, a nice case for my camera and things like that. So that way when I'm traveling, I just throw it in at the bottom of the bag. Yeah. And then I'm going to pack my clothes um, around it or put it on top or whatever. So that way I have a change of clothes because that's what I like traveling with. I always want to have a change of clothes for anybody that's ever had a bag lost by an airport. You, you know my pain, you know. Yeah, pack, pain. pack, an extra pair of underwear because, yeah. you know, they're, they're, as soon as you don't, they're going to lose your bag or it's going to get delayed or whatever, mm -hmm. and you're going to have to go a day or two without your clothes. So, okay. yeah, I always pack an extra pair of that and, like, some, well, we always pack, like, granola and stuff because yeah. you get caught up in the airport, then you're stuck there. Oh, yeah. You know, I think that's a, a big thing is when you're traveling – are you going by car? Are you going by plane? Are you going by train? Um, what all is it that you want to uh, bring with you at that moment? And how do you like to capture the content of your travel? Yeah. Yeah. If it's so, and that's a good point, you know, is it, is it by car, by train, by plane? Yeah. Because on each one of those scenarios, you're going to have to figure out what's the best for you to pack um obviously what you pack up in the car to to go to a wedding venue yeah. that's two states away you're not going to pack that same equipment in a plane no um and and fly somewhere and then have to haul it out of the plane and you know put in a, a cab or a rental car and then try to drive to wherever you're going yeah. um, but then again in a car you know, if you're going on a hiking adventure, uh, my mm -hmm. wife and I just went to a Colorado trip, yeah. and we knew we were going to do a bunch of hiking. I mean, a lot of the gear we left at home because it was too big, it was too bulky, and we weren't going to big our, bring our big tripods or our softbox lights or anything like that. Yeah. We're going to leave all that at home because you know, we're not going to set that up in the woods. There's just the two of us. Yeah. So we brought our, our run and gun camera, um, and we, we brought a little monopod, and um, you know, a reflector took a reflector with us. So, yeah. uh, and then, you know, obviously that's stuff that we can port with us. Um, you're talking about bags, you know, I, I don't use a camera bag. I never have. I don't think I ever will. Um, be, I'm, I'm more of an outdoorsy, uh, photographer. So I like to be out on the trails and, and to have the camera bag just, just doesn't work for me. I use, I use, um, a bag from REI, uh, outdoors that has no compartment. I mean, it really doesn't have any compartments. I buy little sleeves that I put my cameras in so I can pull out, you know, this cannon or that cannon. It's got all the accessories in it. Yeah. It's not the greatest because if what I want is at the bottom, I have to <laughs> empty everything out. But, you know, that, that doesn't bother me because I just like the way the bag supports on my shoulders and I can always roll a pair of clothes up in it if I need to and it's waterproof and, and, so that's why we go with the camping bags. I'm sure there are great camera bags out there. Yeah. Um, and if anybody has any suggestions for great camera bags that work well, you know, taking to a wedding or going hiking on the trails, um, leave a comment below, uh, below. Leave a tag us in a, a photo of the bag or something so that way we can check them out. Yeah. And, you know, uh, for um, traveling, um, as well, I figured out it's okay to have options um, in different bags for different situations. One of my bags is a little bit smaller. Um, the other thing is if you have a bag and you try it out and you don't like it, either make sure you return it immediately or you can also sell it too because what you don't like, somebody else might. One of the things that um, I figured out um, in travel as well is traveling to a shoot, how I like to shoot. Mm -hmm. So that kind of determines or dictates what, what bag that I'm bringing. If I'm doing a lifestyle shoot, I might only want to shoot with a couple of lenses. And I'm going to shoot with, um, check out our, our uh, lens video. You know, we'll link it, right? Here, here, somewhere. Here somewhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll link it. Um, 
check that out and check out our lens podcast but i like uh in that video and podcast i remember saying i like shooting with primes Mm -hmm. um so for me i have to change my lenses well one of the bags that i'm looking at i'm like you know for ease of use and time and then also time with clients or, or models as well is if i can stand and it's a sling backpack style and i can wrap it around and have it sit somewhere around my core and i can put my camera down change the lens pull it back out then start shooting my workflow uh and and speed of it Mm -hmm. increases so when you're looking you know for a bag you not only want something aesthetically pleasing but you want something that's functional for what you do um as well so like just different situations i find that like different bags um will probably be a little bit more handy with the bag that i have now that i take to shoots i have to put it on the ground you know unzip the back side of it open it up Mm -hmm. pull out all the lenses um or not pull out all the lenses but look at all the lenses and go okay that i'd rather be on shoots and just be like boom there's my 35 mil boom there's my 85 mil you know um, well, and, and not to just hyper focus on bags, but you know, there's, there's certain things that you need to get in order before you, you know, take your traveling Like mm-hmm. for us. Um, we have, you know, I've got two cameras. My wife has two cameras. We have a drone. Um, we have a bunch of, I, I bet we have a week's worth of power banks, power yeah. batteries that we charge to just in case, I mean, who, who actually uses them anymore? I mean, there's always a power outlet somewhere and you know, how often are you really that far away from a charger? But, yeah. you know, that's something that, that we just always pack or a bunch of pat- battery packs. Um, and something that you don't think about is that whenever you go through, like, the TSA, yeah, like, you have to tape off each one of those batteries. Yeah. And, and you have to have them in individual Ziploc bags. So, you know, the day before we travel anywhere, we spend, like, an hour taping up the drone batteries, putting them in each individual bag, taping up the battery packs, putting them in each individual bags. And then you have to have to help whenever you go through TSA, a good tip for everybody is already have that sitting on top of your bag in those uh, labeled Ziploc bags. So I'll put all the batteries in each individual bags and I'll put them in one big bag. Yeah. That way, if they want to get technical, they can look through there and it's all separated. Yeah. Um, And that's so that way they don't spark and catch fire on the plane, I guess. I don't know. So, you know, we always make sure to have that all zipped up and, and that way, whenever we walk through, we just, I usually, I'll take all the batteries and then I'll give her most of the cameras Hmm. and then I'll take the computer because you got to put one for your computer, one for your batteries, one for each camera. You know, by the time I stroll through the TSA, I've taken up half the runway on there because I've got like eight different little packs that I've done. Yeah. And the people behind me hate me, you know, but I, I just love packing everything up. I'd, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, no, that's, that's another good tip whenever you're going through, you know, airport security or something to speed up the process. One, show up early enough because yeah. you don't want to have to pick between your flight or your drone. Um, and two, make sure you have everything individually wrapped, ready to go. Oh, yeah. That way you can just string it out and put it back in. And yeah, and that's a great point. And for for me to to expand upon that, I think um, whenever you have gear and equipment, always take it with you. Uh, traveling, especially early on when you start off, mm-hmm. take as much as you can, and you'll start to see your travel uh, flow um, and how that is uh, different different from your professional flow. So, like. Uh, us traveling now so you're you know you and um, your wife y'all like uh, shooting together and doing videos and all these other things Um, my fiance soon to be wife uh, isn't um, all the way into that Mm -hmm. and so for me it was not yet anyways not yet right Um, but uh, for for me it's about um, she gives me she gives me time to do the art and the craft but um, how can I get these shots the quickest and how can I get them fluidly and how can I get them in motion? And I know I'm not going to be able to set up my equipment all the time, but if while we're walking, I can change this or change that, um, it's, uh, a lot better for us because, 
um, it just makes the vacation a vacation for her as opposed to, oh, we're going out on another photography trip. It's just like our one of our first uh, vacations together was going to Banff, um, Banff Mountains in Canada and uh, or Banff National Park. Sorry. But going out there and um, I stopped. I don't know how many times and probably like the 20th. She was like, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? What you doing? And at that moment, I was like, I'm going to grab my kit lens and we're good. And I'm going to use Zoom. We're in and out. We're moving. Backpack didn't come off the rest of the time. So yeah, that that is a good thing to remember whenever you guys are traveling. Um, if, if you're going somewhere because they're paying you, mm-hmm. you're, it's a paid shoot and you're going there then that that should be all that you're focusing on enjoy your time there but you're you're getting paid to make sure you deliver for your client so you know do do the job right but if you're you know like harrison and i whenever we travel with our wives and we go to some of these places it's easy for us to get lost in the trying to capture the photo and and we're just as guilty of it. Um, my wife and I will get to shooting and realize, you know, we walked halfway up the beach and didn't stop to look at anything <laughs> unless we were taking a picture of it. Or, yeah. you know, we've been on the beach for an hour and a half and I haven't talked to my wife once because I've been over here trying to set up my drone and get it up into the air so that way I can get some shots. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you don't travel all the time. So whenever we do travel, it's important to make sure that you're making the most of that time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, do do keep that in mind, guys, whenever you guys are traveling for fun to stop and smell the roses, yeah. I guess. Um, oh, yeah. Enjoy the time that you have while you're out there and and split up your creativeness equally. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, vacations and, and traveling the world and and uh, seeing different sites and people and uh, eating different foods I think it's huge, especially um, in the world of photography, videography, uh, just knowing like, oh, this is a different way that someone um, lives. These uh, these are like places that are on my bucket list. This mm-hmm. is going to enhance me and as, as an individual and a, and a person. Um, and also, too, uh, with bringing uh, your gear and equipment, you never know what shots you're going to get. And also, if you like printing your work, um, I like printing my work and things like that, you can always look back and go, that was a nice shot. I'm going to put that over over my couch or I'm going to do this. And for some people, uh, you'd even be surprised at certain shots that you get that you could sell. Yeah, do the sell it or even do stock photography. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can add it to uh, stock photography. You can add it to your portfolio. You can um, really just get some shots that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And uh, it's nothing but enhancement and refinement. Yeah. yeah. So, you you know, and for me, I, I pack kind of minimally, but I always make sure that I have like a certain lens just in case there's a certain shot. I'll say, uh, you know, moving past that, the next object that I would say would be most important to remember to pack would be a external hard drive. Yeah. Um, And the reason why I say this is because you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, especially if you're going for fun. I mean, I mean, depending on the job you're getting paid for depends on i guess how many pictures you're taking but yeah. you know whenever i go traveling for fun you know i go up to the pnw or whatever um you know we we take tons and tons of pictures per day like yeah. thousands of pictures per day we'll take on different things um, between the two of us and you know one your memory card is going to fill up quick yep. and two if you're just offloading all that onto your computer mm-hmm. that's going to eat up a lot of space yep. i mean i do video and photography and my wife does just photography yeah. but you know, combined all that together, I mean, that's, that's, I'll fill up my poor little Mac before, you know, we even make it through the trip. So, or it just gets slower and slower. So, you know, a trick that, that we started doing was carrying our uh, external drive. And, you know, I just, I just bought a two terabyte Lacey hard drive, Lacey, um, to, to start carrying with us on our trips. And now it's just a religious thing that we do um, at the end of the day, 
we'll, we'll sit down after we get cleaned up and eat dinner and we'll, you know, put on a movie or watch the sunset or whatever it is. And we'll spend that time offloading our pictures onto the appropriate files. And, you know, we're not going to get into workflow very much right now. We can do that, you know, on a later video, but yeah. you know, it, it's important to make sure you're offloading those, uh, on a daily basis or whenever your card gets full to a secure location, because, you know, what if you drop your camera in the water? Right. What if you set it down and somebody steals it while you're on vacation? Yeah. What if you, you know, your card just gets corrupted? Well, yeah. then all those memories that you worked so hard to get and traveled so far to find, they're gone yeah. in, the, in the blink of an eye. Where if you have them backed up somewhere safe, sitting, you know, back with your luggage at whatever hotel, apartment, whatever you're staying at, um, you have them backed up and secured to, to go back home with you. Yeah, and that's... And that's pretty big and that's huge um, to figure out what way you like to store your files. Mm -hmm. um, for for us, one of the things that we do and um, I try to keep into account is, uh, so I'll go through some of my photos and um, if I'm shooting, especially in, in C Raw, like I'll go ahead and just take out like, okay, this is a bad shot, this is a bad shot, while we're kind of fumbling around mm -hmm. and and things like that, so that that way I'm already uh, taking out some of those photos. You're talking about um, in camera? Yeah, in while, camera. While you're out walking around? While I'm out walking around. And then there's some photos, I mean, everybody has it that you shoot and you say, okay, I don't have to um, uh, go into Lightroom or Photoshop. I kind of like this one straight out of camera. So if you have uh, one of the cameras, I can download the image straight to your phone. You can just go ahead and do that. And then at the end of everything, just delete it all. So, or not delete it all, but you could go in and save it later or do whatever you want with the file. I, th I think, uh, you know, knowing the software uh, of your camera is big as well because you can kind of put that wherever you want. I know for me, uh, once I download an image, it'll go to my OneDrive. Mm -hmm. So then when it goes to the OneDrive, I'm like, okay, well, I can delete this. But if there's a shot where I want to uh, change it later, yeah, I just keep it. And um, they, so you can you can upload all your raw files up to the OneDrive. Uh, so you you can you can upload raw files. And there's there's no di diminished in quality or anything like that that you know of. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. That that would actually you know be a better deal than than what. I'm talking about holding a hard drive thinking about it now is because if you can get it uploaded to the OneDrive, then yeah. you know it's super safe now and yeah. you know you don't have to worry about losing the hard drive or it corrupting. Yeah. But the the only thing that I would say about OneDrive is it can take a little while. So So you gotta have a good connection. <laughs> yeah. If you're looking for speed and she's going the distance, she's going uh, for speed, yeah. like that's not um a little cake reference for yeah uh, for people our age um and if you don't know that song look it up um yeah it's it's one of those uh things that you just if you're looking to have like a clean vacation yeah just check your check your connections like mine i don't necessarily monitor it i know it's on my phone so i'm like all right it like just automatically updates to it. Yeah, it'll automatically update See, I can, to it. I couldn't do that with mine, but just because you know we're out there, where there are no cell service. Like, yeah, we yeah. didn't. We didn't have TV the last place we went. Like we had each other and the crackling of the fire oh, and the stars. It was so beautiful. beautiful, but there was no cell service. So that sounds amazing. Yeah, like every every now and then, our phones would catch service, like two yeah. G or whatever it was, and you'd have like fifty text messages come through, and we'd be like trying to take a nap or something, and it'd be like, bing, 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 bing. So we eventually just you know turned off our phones and didn't pick them back up the rest of the time. Yeah, but yeah, yeah no, that that's that's good. That's a uh, good thing to think about whenever you guys are traveling. Not only what you're packing in, but you know also how you're gonna save your material while you're out there. And yeah, that, that's just not stuff we really think about. No, it is, um, you know, and figuring out, uh, like you said, what you like to pack, what you like to bring. Um, and also, uh, I would encourage anybody to just get out and uh, travel. And we're not talking about the uh, travel where you see people going to these foreign locations and that's Living their the lifestyle. Life. Yeah, I mean, that's great. And it's great for them. Um, I, I think one of the biggest things to do and, and it's important for uh 
any type of creator is to just go somewhere. And so uh, for uh, us, I like road trips, um, anything of that nature where it's like, okay, well, maybe I'm gone for a long weekend. Um, I'm just going to get in my car. We're going to get in the car and go pack up the dog. Like, that's a wrap. Why not just take a vacation? Let's go to the mountains. What's this? What's in our backyard? What's what's a place that we've never seen? I didn't, you know, one time we looked for uh, an adventure to go to and it was talking about like a little date, but found like a video game museum somewhere to go to. So we went That's there. Cool. Yeah. Like just go. Yeah. You know, you, you say that and we, my wife and I, we found some of our best photo spots whenever mm-hmm. it's been just like, just go. Yeah. Like, let's just see where the wind takes us. Um, and you, and I think that's a good point because you get so, um, com- not complacent. You get yeah. so used to shooting in the environment that you're in every day that even packing up and going to the next town, mm-hmm. like, you know what, let's go find a new spot to shoot yeah. in the next town over a uh, place that we've never been. That's close by. And you don't yeah. have to get on a plane and travel cross country and seas no. and all that. I just go to the next town, go to another forest, go, mm-hmm. Go to another building, change up your environment so that way you're growing as a creator as you're changing these spots. Yeah. Um, and my wife and I, to, to finish that story, whenever we, our, our last trip we took to Colorado, um, you know, we woke up that morning, we were like, well, let's just start driving and see where we went. We drove for three hours. Yeah. And it was just like that left or right, left or right, left or right. Yeah. And we finally got as far as we wanted to go, and we ended up finding some like, old abandoned mine town yeah. that had old abandoned box cars and and it, i mean it was really cool it was like you had to know where this town was if you were going to find it or <laughs> accidentally stumble across it yeah. i guess but yeah you, you don't know what you're going to find until you get out there and do it and that that will help you grow your skills as a creator yeah all right so i think a good question of the week this week should be where is your favorite place to travel as a creator um, not only where is your favorite place to travel, but how do you like to pack up? Like what bag do you like to use? Is is there some sort of tip or trick that, that we can share with the audience that will help everybody have an easier time packing their stuff up and leaving? Uh, make sure you leave a comment below letting us know what you think. Yeah. Um, ha- have you found anything helpful in this episode? Um, if so, let us know. Tag anybody who could uh, benefit from this episode. All right, so I think for the question of the week this week, we should go ahead and ask you guys, where is your favorite place to travel as a creator? Um, What are some tips and tricks that you might have for people who are about to go on a vacation or on a client um, that can help them prevent any issues or help them get through airport or whatever? Uh, have what's your favorite uh, bag to carry you know share share us some tips and tricks that that we may not have gotten to that we can share with the rest of the audience yeah i think i think for a good question of the week guys what is your favorite place to travel whenever you're creating Um, share with us some of your favorite things to do to to prepare for your travels what kind of bag do you use Mm -hmm. Um, are there any tips and tricks that we forgot that, that you can leave down in the comment that will help the rest of anybody else listening to this that uh, may keep them from running into the same issues that you have? Yeah, share with us, guys, down in the comments podcast if you got it. Make sure you rate it. Yeah, uh, thumbs up if you like it. Uh, you know, subscribe if you love it. And hit the bell if you got to have it. You know, <laughs> got to have a little itch. Um, for us, you can find us at our new email, which has been, uh, yeah. So the new email that we got up and going guys, it is contact B E podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And also where can they find you on the gram? So guys, you can find me on Instagram at Ben dot Bailey. That's B A I L E Y dot 85. And yep. you, and you can find me at E D dot content E A D D Y dot content. Fantastic. Well, guys, hey, we want to thank you all again for coming back and listening. Um, If this is your first time, welcome. Uh, Guys, please do share this. We do appreciate it. And I think this is going to do it for this episode. Yeah. Go travel. Yeah, go travel. Appreciate it.